YNN, HealthWorks. Infertility is on the rise, and couples wanting to become parents are looking for help. One thing many couples don't expect is a problem with the man, but it's more common than you think. And Austin experts are helping to make couples more aware. For about six months, I uh, put that on the back burner. I was a little bit in denial and uh, said I wasn't going to gonna go get it checked. William Pittman and his wife have been married for six years. After trying for a baby for two years, they decided to meet with a doctor. You know what? I, I'm ashamed to say that, but um, yeah, I, th I thought it was my wife's. But the doctor told William he should get a sperm analysis. And when I did, it came out zero. Pittman had been taking a testosterone medication for fatigue. He didn't realize the drug could stop production of sperm. When I, when I found out that it, that it was me, uh, yeah, it was. It, it knocked me on the ground for a couple of days. It's a common misconception that men aren't a part of the fertility problem, but doctors say most of the time they are. So at least 50 to 60 percent of the time, the man is involved, or there is an issue of male factor infertility. And it's on the rise. Uh, rate of male factor infertility is increasing. We think that's probably due to exposures, um, whether it's something in our environment or a chemical that's exposed in something that we're, we have around us regularly. There's a lot of uh, research and studies going into that. St. David's South Austin Medical Center is offering a free seminar tonight at 6 o'clock to discuss male factor infertility at the St. David's South Austin Medical Center. For more information, visit YNN.com.